Music Disc 11. Probably one of the most well-known music discs in all of Minecraft. However, it is probably one of the least played music discs as well. For years, people have wondered what exactly this disc is. What is it trying to tell us? And with the announcement of the Caves and Cliffs update, I think I have a pretty good theory as to what exactly is in this music disc and what it is trying to show us. So let's dive right into it. Listening to music disc 11, right off the bat, you hear some pretty interesting sounds. You can listen and we have a person running and seems to be breathing slash panting heavily. Now if you're like me, you're probably wondering, what exactly is this telling us? Well, in the Caves and Cliffs update, we know there's going to be a new biome called the Deep Dark. This could be referenced in this music disc by the fact that the person is struggling to breathe, panting and running around in somewhere that is not known to them. Now, I am aware this may be a long shot, but thinking about it, being in a deep dark cave, it would probably be a hard time to try and breathe while in this underground labyrinth. Going forward, we can also seem to hear some form of clicking noise. This could potentially be a kind of torch that is trying to be lit, or even the new candle item. As the person is trying to light up the area around them, so they can see where they are going. And then, we hear some more movement. And then... We hear the Enderman. Now, for a long time, this was actually quite a big hint, and a lot of people, including myself, believed that this was the cause of whoever is in the disc not being able to get out. But, there is more to this story than meets the eye. But after this, we hear the person is panicking, running faster and faster to try and escape, and just as the tension builds, we hear... Nothing. We hear nothing. Now, why might we hear nothing? Surely if this is some monster or enderman, we would hear, you know, the enderman noise as they're being chased, or even just anything. But we just hear silence. This leads me to believe that there are a few different possibilities here. The first one could be that this person was running and saw the warden right in front of them, and only knowing about it from folklore, they stop in their tracks to not make a single sound. Another potential theory is that the warden was waiting for them, listening to their every move, as they tried to find their way out of the deep dark, and just ended up taking them, as we do hear a slight noise, and then almost like the recording device breaks. One thing we do know from the Caves and Cliffs update is that the Skulk sensors are a new block that are going to be involved in redstone. Perhaps this block caused some interference with the recording device in order for us not to be able to detect what is truly after the person. Now, what if there was one other theory? Something we may not have expected. This Warden is set to become some kind of new super mob. Looking at the damage output of the Warden against a player in full netherite, we can see that the mob is not something to be messed with. However, could there be something bigger out there that we are unaware of? Is there more to the caves that we don't actually know about? Could there even be something bigger overarching what is to come in the future? I guess we will have to keep digging to find out the truth of disc 11. Well guys, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I tried to make this one a bit more of a depth slash theory video as I really wanted to explore the potential for future videos in this style, and some more myth slash theory busting videos in the future. 
Anyway, that is all I have time for this week. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I shall see you all next week. Peace.